biggest reasons for changes in family form is the steady fertility decline seen in the last century. In 1891, 40% of Australian families had six or more children, whereas nowadays the average number of children in a family is between two and three. Between 1961 and 1981, fertility rates have dropped by 45%. This can be seen as a result of the introduction of birth control, most notably the contraceptive pill, as well as changes in the societal value of children, the advent of social construction of the concept of childhood, as well as women choosing to have children later in life or not at all mostly as a result of the pursuit of tertiary education or career options. This fertility decrease is partly due to the increase of women in the workplace. World War II was a major starting place of women gaining higher education and joining the paid workforce. In 1950, only 25% of women were working, compared to 58.5% in 2011. It is noted that 90% of this increase is in part-time work, usually combined with child-rearing. With the greater ease of divorce, women have become more financially independent and we have shifted away from the male breadwinner role towards a more gender equal. The topic of family life would not be complete without considering divorce. Divorce rates in the mid-1960s showed that about 10% of marriages ended in a divorce. Comparative to recent years, one in every three Australian marriages will end in divorce. The establishment of the Family Law Act in 1975 have made divorces easier and provided women with equal rights to file for the divorce. This has caused a steep increase in the divorce over the last 40 years. This is uh, other factors uh, such as changes in role of women, rising expectations of being married, changes in social attitudes, greater availability and effectiveness of contraceptions, and increased life expectancies are also factors that have caused increases in The family has undergone several structural changes influenced by the social force of changes in cohabitation. There's been an increase of people living apart but remaining together, or people moving, or in contrast, people moving in before they get married. In 2010, 22% of people aged 20 to 29 were in de facto relationships, which is twice the amount of in 1992. In light of Harvey's theory of space-time compression, people can stay connected with their partners through telecommunication technologies, despite the large distances, which helps maintain an emotional bond.